You know, what's interesting to me about Anthony Richardson is every time he does media, he kind of comes with cliches, right? Where, you know, every game is a big game, but I absolutely believe that he believes what he's saying. He's coming with cliches, but I think he's bought in to the cliches. I think that this game this weekend is big because it's the next one. I think he is kind of addicted to his process where he's trying to get better every single day, stack days, stack games, go get dubs, like he says. But I, with some guys, I find that really annoying. With Anthony Richardson, I don't, because I believe that he believes it. You know, uh, we're just excited for this matchup, you know, another division opponent, you know, on our schedule, you know, another opportunity to go out there and showcase, you know, who we are as a team. You know, we're just looking for a W this week. How much are you looking forward to getting back out there with Jonathan? No, it feels good, you know, uh, just getting warm ups and walkthroughs with him just now. Uh, looking forward to practice, looking forward to this week, you know, just his playmaking ability to help our offense. But like I said, we're just trying to execute and just get W's this week. Big opportunity for you to get back last week. What's the next step you want to take this week with another opportunity? You know, just perform better each each and every week, you know, uh, just stay consistent in my, my routine and my preparation. You know, just do what I got to do for my team to help us win. We watched the tape from Sunday. What, what really stood out to you? You know, uh, just them, you know, uh, just, just bringing a lot of pressure to us and just us trying to adjust to it. Uh, so we know, like, other teams are going to try to do something similar. So just got to work on that, uh, pick those things up, but just execute our offense, you know, get separation, deliver the ball, and just make it work. Yeah, did he surprise you, uh, you with, when he surprise you with blitzes? You still seem calm enough. You didn't take a sack. What'll, I guess what's going through your mind those moments? What lets you kind of stick with it and get out of some of the danger? Uh, just me being able to move in the pocket, you know, I trust my ability to move in the pocket, you know, and, uh, the old line believes in me enough to, you know, make it work if they, you know, don't pick up certain guys, you know, so uh, that's, that's just that, just, just playing around, just playing football out there, just making it work. The guy that, the guy that came from behind that you kind of shrugged it off, did you see it at the last second or did you go know uh, kind of, kind of saw him like the whole time. You know, I was expecting you know it to get picked up a little bit, but you know he came free. And at that moment, you just got to play football right there. You know, sometimes you know technique and everything goes out the door. You just gotta you know just be the best best man right there and just win. Anthony, you're still young, obviously, but you, you, know, you have 14 carries and take some hits. How did you feel physically? You know, the, the days after the game, and, and how do you kind of keep your body in, in shape? To, uh, you know, uh, surprisingly, I felt real good. You know, um, the only thing that was really bothering me was my foot. You know, I. Guess I was running a lot, so uh, my foot wasn't used to that. But, you know, other than that, everything else felt good. You know, just learning how to get down, you know, take care of myself for the team. You know, it, felt, it all felt good. So, not, no really, no pain, honestly. How, how have you, what have you learned about um, taking care of your body in this league, you know, just... Um, Man, just, in general. just watching the vets, you know, just listening to them. They're always in the, in the training room, you know, even when they're not hurt, you know, taking care of their bodies because, you know, in this game, you're, you're going to get dinged up, you're going to get banged up. But it's just more like preventative, you know, measures, you know, staying in there and making sure I'm on top of everything, but just checking in every day. And you're facing an opponent the second time in the season. How does that impact your preparation holding up to a game? Uh, it doesn't really change much, you know. Of course, we, we got some information on it because we played them before, but, you know, you still got to prepare the same way because. Like, we don't know like what they're doing in their media rooms. We don't know what they're trying to scheme up or switch up. So it's just preparing the same way each and every week and just getting ready for the game. Anthony, how are you guys different from that first meeting? Uh, honestly, I feel like you know, the, the first one, you know, it was just the first game getting some rust out. You know, us just trying to execute certain plays that we've seen up. But, you know, now we kind of got a sense of what, what they're going to do uh, to us and against us. So it's like now we just got to, you know, make sure we're on point at each and every play. You don't ever want to make one week bigger than it needs to be. But the opportunity at hand to tie the Texans and top the division, how significant is this week getting the opportunity that you have? You no, know, it's definitely on our mind. But um, honestly, we're not thinking about, like, yeah. trying to, you know, tie records or anything like that. Honestly, just trying to win. You know, it's, it's a division game. You know, this one counts double for us, so we're just trying to you know get the dub and just keep stacking each and every week. Yeah, when Anthony, it comes how much to you pay, how much you pay attention? Everybody wants you know the Colts and Houston's gonna be a good rivalry, and you and CJ. Do you pay attention to that, the interest of that brings? Uh, not necessarily. You know, it's fun. You know, competing against you know other competitors. You know, it's fun whenever there is some type of rivalry involved in it. But you know, I, I don't try to think about it too much. You know, I treat every game as if it's a rivalry because the other team's trying to you know dominate us. So 
it, every game is honestly the same for me. It's just trying to stack up and just keep the end up. Maybe it's a little different if it's like 10 years. Yeah, yeah. No, hopefully we get to stay that long and, you know, make it happen each and every year. But uh, if it gets to that point, then, yeah, definitely. Yeah, when you come back at the incompletions on Sunday, how much of that was uh, the things the Dolphins were throwing at you that was different, surprising, and how much do you see throws that maybe you could make that it's like areas you can improve on? You know, uh, it's a little bit of both. You know, uh, their, their defense, they did a great job, you know, disguising some things, bringing some pressure. Uh, then, you know, play calling, you know, some of the times we didn't know what to expect when they were throwing coverages out there. So we're just trying to make certain plays work. And then, you know, some balls, you know, just miss. You know, uh, it's, it's football. You just got to keep slinging and just keep throwing. And when it comes to not taking sacks, how much of that is just natural innate ability versus you learning the game more at this level? Uh, I feel like it's a like 50 50 honestly I've always thought to myself like, I should never get sacked you know I should always be able to you know make at least one guy miss you know just to help the whole line out you know that's always been you know in the back of my mind because I know they hate you know allowing sacks and then just just playing the game you know you know some defenders move a certain way and I know I move a certain way so it's just it's making it work how much pride do you take in being able to shake a guy off or you know wrestle yourself out of a tackle in those situations you no know, I always take pride in that I feel like I shouldn't be able to get tackled one on one by just one person so I that, that's always been, been my mindset since a little kid. You know, I don't like getting talked about one person. I feel bad after that. So I, I just try to just play football and just make guys miss. Anthony, seeing them, you saw them last year. You've seen them now twice this year. Do you look, look at their defense on film, and is it more comfortable than maybe other opponents just because you have seen them so much? In your yeah, for sure. That, that goes with anything. You know, Once you get comfortable, you see uh, quite a few things a lot. You, know, you get used to it. You try to scheme up certain things and make certain things work against that coverage. But um, it's still preparation. You know, we don't know what they got going on. They might come out there as something totally different. So um, it's just, just preparing just each and every week. There's Anthony Richardson, and that is your quarterback. And I think that that's a good thing. Not only is he physically gifted, but I absolutely believe that psychologically he's got the makeup of a guy who's going to go out and play a 17-game season if his health allows and play at a really, really high level. He's not going to get too high for one game and not high enough for the next game. He's not going to be too tight for one, not tight enough for the other, They're too loose. He's going to be a guy who tries really, really hard to perform consistently and, and tries to overcome whatever physical limitations injuries provide. I'm bought in on this guy, and that's the reason that I'm happy to show these things to you. And, and make sure you see them so you understand what I understand about Anthony Richardson as we evaluate whether he's going to be a, a pro bowler, whether he's going to be a bust, or, or somewhere in between. I think he has the characteristics of a guy who's going to be a great success at the NFL level.